So we're here at Dinosaur Valley, which is a wonderful historic state park in Texas. Tell us about what we can expect here. People normally come to Dinosaur Valley because we have the world's best dinosaur tracks. We're the lucky ones that get to see them all the time. But this just the park just didn't about dinosaur tracks. It's it's beautiful. There's so many things to do. We have amazing biking trails. We have about 17 miles. We have the lifestyle miles of the dinosaurs. There's camping and there's hiking and just tons of fun here. Of course, we, then we have the Plexi River. We're standing actually right here on dinosaur ground. While we're out here, will you tell me about some of these tracks we're seeing here? I'd be glad to. We have two different types of species in this area. Actually, two different types of species in the whole park. This three-toed track was made by a theropod. Its name was Acrocanthosaurus. It was about 20 feet tall, 30 feet long, weighed about 16,000 pounds at the most. It resembled the T-Rex, much older and about two-thirds the size of a T-Rex. This more round track or cylindric track was made by a sauropod. Sauropod meaning it was a plant eater. It was about 70 feet long, 44,000 pounds, about 13 feet at its hip. This is quite the attraction and I love to just put my foot like right smack dab in the middle of a dinosaur track, wedges and all. <laughs> um, that's been really interesting getting out here and walking. I should have brought my hiking boots. I don't know what. <laughs> Kathy, that's how I roll. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Love me or leave me, baby. <laughs> All right, would you show us some more places in the park? I will be glad. Okay, we're making our way through this valley and we're at a new place. What is this one? This one is Trexite 1, it's called the Blue Hole. And it's called the Blue Hole because in the fall, most of the time it's a blue-green color from the algae. It's also our spring-fed part of the river, so normally there's plenty of water in it. We have 11 and a half miles of hiking and biking trails. We have 47 electricity and water sites. We have seven north primitive sites, and that's very primitive. Uh, no fires are allowed up there, and there's no water, uh, no restrooms. And then we have walk-in south primitive. It has eight, and there are restrooms and fire rings down there. So plenty to do, and then lots of little stops like this, like a little pole where you can scoop down and find more dinosaur footprints.